How is it going today? Hello, Hello. it's Kanani Dwayne. My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jazz. Today we have for you Conspiracy Theories with Shane Dawson. Part two. Part two. Part dose. Anyway. We got different snacks today. Where's mine? I have my, I know some people might think this is nasty. Butter pecan ice cream. Butter but pecan ice cream is delicious. delicious to me, all right? It sounds like an old person ice cream. Right, but it's good. And I have edible cookie dough, y'all. So. Edible. Like it's safe to eat. It is right. so delicious. Y'all go pick some. So y'all get y'all snacks right now. We gonna give y'all a little time. Anyway. No, this is actually real fat. This is real. Me, hey, I'm hey. Me eating a hey, whole little can. Ain't nothing wrong. Me, We're being a little <laughs> fat. All right. I'm eating your mother. Anyway, if you guys haven't watched, please follow us on social media. If the ladies are wrong, don't forget to subscribe. Is that one? I'm called Zipetto. Oh, the people. Yeah, yeah, there's like memes like, okay, I saw this meme with like a gross popsicle, it was melted, and then the package, it was cute, and it was like, me in real life, and then me and my Zepetto, I'm messing this up. <laughs> okay, well Zepetto, mm -hmm. there's a theory that it's actually tracking you, and that Ooh. it's listening to everything, and it's recording everything, and it's like, actually, huh. kind of scary app in a lot of things. I think I'm using it. It's for kids, though. It is stalking you through your phone, if you don't believe me, <laughs> just sit there and listen to it, you ain't your breathing. Hmm? We deleted that. Well, I downloaded it. I haven't opened it yet. What? Okay. Is he gonna know something about it like already? Hmm. What in the world? This is a kids app? Right. I don't even know nothing so about it. So it's listening to kids? Right. <laughs> in order to start, we have to have access to your camera. And your, okay. your, hmm. and your microphone. Checker. Oh, there's only two? No. This is one. What? what? <laughs> Wait, okay, so I'm taking a picture of myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, ew! Oh! Wait, is Can I give you some hair? hair? Yeah. Oh my god. Who's your hair? You look good. You were like two years. He's <laughs> fit! Congratulations! Okay. No, no, no. Honestly, though, why does it not look like me? Is it supposed to? Well, here's the thing. It makes mm. you submit a picture, and it's like, oh, we're gonna make something that looks just like you. That and looks it doesn't. terrible. Wait, right. you put glasses on me if like, I did it? I don't know. Let me download some pedal, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying it like, like, like Mickey Mouse? It's like, that's not me. Alright, let's keep looking. Oh, okay, so you can customize it. Right. Then what's the point of taking the picture? So they can have your face on file. Maybe or just a model of it. Oh, just download the internet. Because that wasn't close. <laughs> yeah, it was not close. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, his beard is like, <laughs> his hair is not like blonde. It's a pedal review. Right, it's like. That leads us to our okay. first sponsor today. <laughs> wow, it's free. It looks really colorful and fun. Where am I? Oh, no. Would you find others that are straight? Hmm? That looks like Eric Costello. <laughs> I mean, it did. I'm just saying. Wait, please. Hello. Wait, what is this? Is the pedal town street? What? Yeah, I'm on the street. So it's like you meet other oh, people? Oh, they're all speaking other languages. Oh. Oh. Speaking okay. Japanese? Ew, look what it did to me. <laughs> what did you do? That's not even you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now here's the other scary part. So the reason people think it's tracking you, you might be listening. That's kind of creepy though. Because while you're mm -hmm. playing with the app, if you put your ear to the phone, you'll hear static mm? or white noise. Mm. I do. Do you? Oh. <gasps> They all do. It's small. <gasps> Here, listen. Yeah, it's like like a little like crackly noise. Mm. Out in the distance. Wow. Oh. And Wait, can I hear yours? What does static mean though? Like what is what well, if, that's the okay. same noise that you hear your phones are tempting. Yeah, like Okay. Clicking. You can maybe I can ask them a question. And they'll like, like, are they there? I mean, it makes sense, right? If you're an app developer and you're just like, ah, wow. it's like the real world or something. They're like, I'm not an app developer. Do you work as a pedo? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I'm sure it's probably, so, is it in there, like, disclaimer? Or <laughs> like in the, in the terms right. of service? <laughs> 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 but your food is here. So do you think, like, someone's on the other side of the computer right now talking to me? Yes! Oh, like, hey. Ask them They're probably like, getting their coordinates. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> so, that static noise that you hear when you're playing an app, you can actually hear that same static noise pretty much all the time. I'm scared. I mean, I don't hear it. I'm still scared. Wait, do you really not hear it? Because I hear it all the time on my phone. No. They no. ought to use Shane. Yeah. Because. <laughs> 
Are you I don't hear it at all. No, nah, don't hear it. Except the microphone's always going. See? Fine. I turned my app off. You still hear it? <gasps> Weird! Wait! I don't know what that means. I mean, I he made, he made too many conspiracy weird. videos. We're boring. Yeah. When you say, hey Siri, how did she hear that? She she must be listening all the time. That's what yeah. I told Dwayne. Turn that future on. <laughs> That's what I told Dwayne. I told because I turned mine off. And he said, why did you turn it off? Because I said, how does Siri know to listen to you for hey Siri if it's not always recording you? It, all, it has to always be listening to you in order to hear for Hey Siri. I said, it I doesn't turn off. I said, I, you were, I said you were right about that. And I said, I ain't got nothing to hide though, so I'm, you know, forget it. But that's what I'm saying. I was like, it's always the same. You said, no, it ain't. I said, yeah, At first it is. I was like, how, how does it hear you? And he was like, and then I, I paused for a second and I was like, hit or miss. <laughs> I never really no, it's not. no, I was like, you're right though. Yeah, you I'm were like, definitely that's right. That's why I turned mine off. I was like, I don't need to listen to my conversation. And, and that's why she, we had like got uh, an uh, and that's why we Alexa. Got this. We got Alexa. Yeah, so even tape the, okay. So that even on the computer. we read an article that the FBI director has a tape over his webcam. If he got tape, he got tape over and his he's webcam. FBI. I, I put, put it there. Not yeah. that they're trying to hide anything. No, I'm just saying. You know, just gonna watch us in the darkness watching anime, and somebody's watching me from the other side you watching just, anime. So oh, yeah. yeah, I know you like that, my hero, yeah. oh, my yeah. hero academia. Oh. I know you like that. Go ahead, get this deck. That go. <laughs> no, Shut up. Oh, but yeah. So, but anyway, um, and you unplugged the Alexa, mm -hmm. and you was I like, right. Alexa. <laughs> she was like, no, nah, I'm good. I right, okay. want it. Yeah. So anyway, let's dive on it. Well, that's not you. Well, it doesn't matter. Because, hey Siri, like that means to hear that, she has to have been listening the whole time. Everything. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, but Thank Apple's you. pretty forward about that. They say that they only go with that phrase and then only what you say. But they have to hear before <laughs> that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, in part, as I say it out. <laughs> yeah, because it's Thank like, oh, you. Yeah, she hears that phrase because she's listening to everything. And oh no, but but we don't we don't save any of it, but I mean. I'm sure they probably tell us they do. You know that 50 page accept thing that nobody said that's mm -hmm. uh, Somebody wants some money by looking at that. They want $5,000 in the term of service. So you better sometimes look in the term of service. <laughs> 50 pages? <laughs> Wait, is it almost freaking me out? Cut to them in a marketing meeting just being like, let's add white noise, we can get a shit <laughs> around Elsa like doing like sexual stuff and like cause the kids thing no. the kids are gonna watch it and then like try to like reintroduce them to like uh, we'll see I don't, I don't know. know I think I might be okay. out there I might be out there thank god you're hurt I'm Walt Disney a lot of people say this is a rumor is great uncle Walt frozen underneath the Pirates of the Caribbean he is not we don't have him in an ice cube tray in the freezer and no. According to the president of Cryonics Society of California, Walt Disney wanted to be frozen. These are some of our patients, proven patients, because we don't regard them as dead people. There's, there's people on those hands. And he wanted scientists to be able to revive him in the future and possibly give him immortality. I'd give anything to be there with you. So if we could see through these, we would see people just kind of like voting like this or. No, of course, the majority of people think this is all just weird science that will never work. Scientists are freezing endangered animal species. We have what? fully frozen wood frogs. Their hearts are stopped, their brains are flatlined, yet they're still alive. But the most amazing thing is the fact that the wood frog comes back to life. Immortality might be ours if we could manage to do the same. We, we don't have that ability yet. Now we have this medical miracle. Pennsylvania man 
Oh my god. Frozen is over the next few days, miraculously, his heart started beating on its own. Yo. I never even heard anything like this. This is zombies this are is coming. coming. <laughs> <laughs> zombies are coming. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. He's got no brain activity. The brains are flat. The body is frozen solid. When the body heated up, the body came back alive. All those guys are going to give up. But you're going to shed a few happy tears. It's gonna be like the real thing from Futurama when he got frozen. Yeah. Before, we're only looking to see if Walt Disney had his body or head frozen. So how would Disney hide those search results? By making a worldwide hit film called Disney's Frozen is officially the highest grossing animated movie of all time. I mean, just look at the search results from 2011 and before. Yeah, pages of information about Walt Disney's head possibly being frozen. And then look at the search results. Now you see that. Yeah. It's completely frozen. So if you type in Disney Frozen, all you get is the movie. Yeah. Instead of, is he frozen? Hmm. 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 Why would I want my just my head frozen? That's the thing I don't understand. Why do I want just the head? And like, like, are you gonna put me on a robot? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of too many things. <laughs> Since the beginning, stores have been doing everything they can to get our attention. Mm -hmm. How did you get on the first page of you in 24 hours? Robot doing the science. Robots are taking all our jobs. There's gotta be an easier way. Two secret citizens got into a fight at a Costco over free piece of cheese. You're gonna love this. Hey, 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 hey! Before you go searching for those slashed prices, I got a business sales. Going out of business. Going out of business. They never go out of business. They be right there. They don't go nowhere. We have another one. Yeah, Carl's dream is doing all these things. Don't mess with my cheese, bruh. Don't mess with our cheese, bruh. Give me that cheese! By order of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court, going out of business. Oh, Toys R Us. They actually left. Everything yeah. must go, and unfortunately, mm -hmm. that means the employees too. But the prices are great. You know, you come in and it's just overwhelming the amount of toys. Twenty-five years. Mm. No severs. Mm. That's heartbreaking. At every mm. Toys R Us and Babies R Us across America, across the country, so mm. thirty-one thousand employees are looking for new jobs. Wow. They're not gonna wow. get deals like this anytime soon. And then they masquerade as employees are out there without a job with no severance pay. Think with the heart. That is extremely hopeless. It's a great time to start shopping for Christmas. These workers who become close friends comfort each other. We need to go to Toys R Us. Selena mm -hmm. Rawson is one of 31,000 Toys R Us employees losing their jobs and their benefits. Mm. Selena has cancer. Mm. It's in the middle of her second round of chemo. If I'm having yeah, this cancer, I can't get health insurance. I tried. Don't mess with my Oh my goodness gracious. You gotta come. Oh my god. One of the scariest tactics that stores use to get you to spend your money is subliminal messages. Psychology mm. says red catches the eye. The color yellow encourages them to eat more. Mm -hmm. Eat more, eat more, eat more. Eat more. Eat more. Just look at this video. There's somebody red and yellow. Something hidden in the KFC commercial. Money? I saw that. Yes? Wow. Just in the lettuce. Wow. Was it like what mm -hmm. called out for this? They said that it was part of a competition and the first thousand people that see the dollar could win a prize. But oh, it's been it? over ten years since the commercial came out, there's been no contest. So hmm. clearly that was just a cover. Lie. Catches the eye. And many studies have been done on why KFC might have done this. And all the answers lead to KFC wanting us to subconsciously think about low prices hmm. and think about their food. But it's not out of the ordinary. I mean that food is kind of good. Just yeah. look at what happened ten years ago when McDonald's got caught doing something even sneakier. Okay, so we're sitting here watching Iron Chef America. I noticed the screen blinked red, slow motion forward, frame mm -hmm. by frame. 
closer. Look at I'm this. Loving. Donald's oh. dead right in the middle for just one frame. Wow. Of course, they think it was a glitch, but people sleep through that. There's tons of other things you probably Whoa. never noticed, and it's going to be all you think about. Coming up right now. Oh. That's that right there. What? Why? Oh, no. That you've seen in your advertisement is set to 10 10. 10 10. And it's what? Like a watch company. So 10 10 is even in movie posters, TV shows, pretty much anything. Why is it Why? set to that time every time? Why? Wait, this is scary. Whoa. This is scary. Whoa, why? I never even noticed that. Why? Why? Is that like binary code? I don't know. Why is every watch such a 10 10? Most of us have the watches now. We can't even have time. And there's positive emotion to have it at 10 10. I mean, the clock. Like a smile. Makes a smile. Makes you happy and makes you want to rise. I don't see a smile when I look at that. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. <laughs> They'll be less likely. Lionel Engineer finally calls it a night. How do you think you'll want to get up in the morning? The Lionel train. Wow. Even old commercials. Do you see that? So order now. Wow. Even old little commercials like that. Wow. Sexy. You just look at this magazine. I bet you didn't even know there was a popular magazine called Sex, right? I didn't. That's because no. there's What is it called? These are all covers of a magazine that's actually called SFX. But if you look at almost all their covers... Wow, they cover it. the word... So that it looks like sex. Like sex to catch your attention. I would make you sweet. <laughs> It like looks like it because they, they photoshopped the head over it and then all you see is the... Yeah, you just assume that there's another bar at the bottom. Until I saw that they were putting kids on. Wow. Oh. Passive stranger things in front of a big, bold sex feels different for me. Hmm. You know it looks a bit like sex. Wow. Oh, wow. Mm. But one place that's completely mm. filled Dirty with hairy. messages. <laughs> Place you least battle is being waged in supermarkets all over this country. A battle for the customer's dollar. That's right. The grocery store. Mm -hmm. For you, it's an ordinary store. Lord, I hate going to the supermarket. The products you see, where they are displayed, mm -hmm. even what you smell, it's all to get you to buy. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. from the moment That's why they place things like when you're going to the register, they place things right next to there. Like, hey, try to get this. Yeah. This little candy. Get whatever. You know what I did? I tricked myself. I only allow myself to carry a basket, no cart. And also, as we go around the store, we were second to place baskets. Again, so it encourages that customer to carry on shopping. Mm -hmm. From the moment you walk into the grocery store, they try to make you get more things. Mm -hmm. So how exactly is this place making me feel so well? Well, it's a funny thing, Renee. What's happened is you've entered, you're welcome, but you're also not allowed to leave. As you can see, the metaphorical doors are closing. Oh, yeah, the exit. Well, you could, but you're not going to because you've already invested. The first thing that happens when <laughs> you walk in is you get a big burst of air that comes straight from the oh, bakery section. Oh, right, yes. Always pleased to it's my downfall. Where you can use human senses for more impulse sales. In this store, we cook fresh bread. It's dinner time. As this customer walks into the store, she smells like French bread. It just came out of the oven, so she's making her way over there. Mm -hmm. That way, the smell that your salivary glands go in. We all know that the hungrier you are, the more you want to buy. And then they yes. put all of the essential items like milk, eggs, and meat at the very back of the store. Mm -hmm. That way you have to walk all through it. Things like milk will be put further into the store. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. All the way through the store. And then they move the location of the eggs every few months just to confuse you and make you walk around more. And wow. Like they're always yep. really rearranging things in the middle of the night. Well, experts say this is no longer this. They want you to get lost. Yes. Yeah. Stores hope you'll find extra items along the way. They want me to get stuff I don't need. makes you spend more money on unnecessary items. Yes. And have you ever wondered why the candy is at the very bottom of the shelf at the checkout For stand? kids. Right above the floor? For well, kids. That's because they wanted it eye level and reaching distance of the children. Mm -hmm. When it comes to getting you to buy certain items, it's all about placement, that. including mm -hmm. putting kids' items 
for the kids. I used to work retail, so yeah, me too. Cereals, no, 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 no. So I know. Between the three to four feet high. So imagine that a child is in this cart. They Notice see it right the there in front of the face. That's here at eye level, and even older children are going to be seeing this at eye level. Mm -hmm. You want to get those? I hope the kids will see the candy. See all the colorful things and the cartoon <laughs> characters. <laughs> More characters, more mm -hmm. colors. And it works. In this case, all the way to the floor. My mom knows about that. <laughs> has, has passion for this to get his honey for honey nut Cheerios. Cheerios. <laughs> and that's where the gum is always on top. Adult mm -hmm. stuff on top. Kids, Kids stuff on the bottom. On the bottom. Yeah, like like baby bottle pop. That's Jim always at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Where we got that last thing for sale. I know. As you can see, our store layout is pretty important. Our customer came in for just a couple of things on her list, and she ended up taking a lot more. Mm -hmm. Grocery stores aren't the only place using some limo tactics. Restaurants are also getting into buying tricks. Just mm. look at the menus. Mm. Some places drop the dollar sign from the prices, so you don't think about money when you're deciding how much. Oh, I knew about that, yeah. Eight dollars seems a lot less expensive wow. than just mm -hmm. 28 there's also stores that pump fake smells out of the vents to trick your mind. Movie theaters. Movie theaters do that all the time. Disney, that has something called I smell it, Tyler. And these are spread out through the whole thing. So that you can smell it. Smell, it. smell the food. Your memory entice you to shop. That smells like candy. <laughs> it really does. And then in some high end stores like Gucci or Prada, it's been said that employees are trained to be rude to you and get you to buy more. Oh, please. Go to the world and to that condescending salesperson that you do belong there. How? What? Works. I want to just tell those sales associates that they need to get off their high horses. Rude. It's simply rude. Y'all falling in the trap. I didn't end up getting the pair of shoes that I wanted. Speaking of clothing stores, have you ever noticed how loud I'm not buying from people that's rude to me. Oh, oh Hollister. Hollister's dark as hell. You gotta wear a, have a flashlight through there. Get <laughs> a little whistle. True. <laughs> There's videos from all across the country at different Hollisters, and all their music is blasting. Yeah, it's like a nightclub. This isn't to make you feel like a party. It's because the louder the music is, the more likely you are to buy something. It's overpriced. When the music is soft, this stuff is, is overpriced. We got some plain stuff in there. Right. But if the music is super loud, it can disorient and we make it hard to think. Wow. And the bass makes your heart rate mm. It gives you the same feeling as having anxiety. I've never bought anything from Hollister before. I just always walk through there. Right, I never went to Hollister. Then they pump an intense cologne smell into the air vents to block another one of your senses and make me even more discreet. I'm gonna make you buy. Yeah. I'm gonna make you buy. Get it. Go ahead and waste your time. Yeah. Someone will stand in line, Ooh. buy that shirt over there. Yes. Them jeans don't quite fit. No. But who cares? Because you're a pretty, pretty. <laughs> That's how they do. <laughs> life that seems so much better than yours. Then you look up and see a mirror that they place right in front of the show rack, so that you can see how much worse you look than the models on the walls. Because what else is the purpose? Of That's what I'm saying. They don't quite fit. What you like? Change in the dressing room. Right? <laughs> and the song changes. Oh my god. Louder and faster. You give up. You say fuck it. And you buy the expensive item and you leave. So Hollister. Now, I wanted to go myself and see if Hollister was still using all of these tricks. Yes, so all the time. Check it out. And we go to Westfield before? They are all across. Yeah. Westfield is. I think we went to one in Florida. They're, they're here in, like, uh, they're here over like here a nap. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're everywhere. Yeah. I love them all, too. We don't go that much. Though. Yeah, we don't go that much, though. I think we saw, oh, no. we saw Tales of the Two Heroes. Oh, uh, my hero, that's the last time we saw That's the last time. Oh, they made it lit. Hmm. Oh, probably too low. It's like I have other conspiracies. This is really loud. I don't know. Ours is. The key points really aren't really highlighted in this particular office. She said they changed everything. They told me that a lot of things changed after some lawsuits that happened oh. years ago. Wait, what was the lawsuit? What was the lawsuit? So right now, that? the company's going through like a rebranding. Lately, the music's gotten quieter, there's been more lights added. Namely, you'll no longer have to meet a certain standard of attractiveness <laughs> to work there. The 
company recently found itself in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. Oh, because of discrimination? The CEO left, and he was... Abercrombie and Fitch founder Mike Jeffries is stepping down as a CEO. The company still remains under fire for its CEO's controversial comments. That he only wanted good-looking people to shop at the stores, that. only skinny people mm -hmm. to so shop at the stores. Thing. Because according to him, anyone who's a plus size isn't cool enough to shop in Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, wow. wow. But he's not, he's not even plus. That's you what? Slim Wait, how? Was that the same guy? Huh? Was that the same guy, the CEO that we saw? Mm -hmm. Hold on, I gotta see. I got the CEO. Yeah, the CEO himself wasn't even. He wasn't slim even and slim and like that. And everything, but he wants to. He wants to portray that you're not good enough to get this stuff. Like, like only beautiful people buy Amber Crombie, like Hollister stuff, you know, and Amber uh, Amber Crombie and Fitch stuff. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's the new CEO. Where's the old one? I don't know. Well, I, if that was him, there he yeah, is. Yeah, there he is. Bruh! But look at him, though. Yeah, look at him. Bruh. But I'm just saying. He, yeah, he even got a little double chin, too. That's probably why people are mad. Like, so, like, so you're saying that big people can't shop here, too? Okay, all right. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with being a little thick. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong, wrong ain't with it. It's, it's, okay, love it's, yourself. Love yourself, right. Love yourself the size that you are. Right, you know? let's, let's dive on it, man. Jesus. The former CEO of Hollister also owned Abercrombie & Fitch. You know, Abercrombie & Fitch. The place where they had shirtless guys mm -hmm. Models outside, outside the yeah. Mm -hmm. you to come in. Like Zac Efron in that movie. Mm -hmm. Like that was your job. That's a good job, though, for you to do nothing. Well, right. Just stand there all day. That's right. good. Slightly more creepy. They used to have girls like walking around the store, clothes, and talking to people. I went for an interview uh, for a model position. And basically, model just walks around phones and you know looks cool, like too cool for school and looks bored and all that. Now, since the lawsuit, they changed the name. <laughs> I know they were showing off like that. <laughs> And here's a job oh, issue. A brand representative inspires others through a charismatic and sophisticated presence in the store. They engage customers in a genuine way to drive sales. Mm -hmm. They wanted everybody to work there pretty much just to be models. They yeah. wanted all the sales clerks to look like your biggest high school crushes. My manager specifically told me, only talk to people who are attractive. If you don't think they're good looking, don't bother going up to them. And it's oh, wow. the same exact process when it came to um, people applying as well. And I had them well. offer the job once. What's up with that? I like to work. I swear to God, this guy <laughs> looks me in the eyes and says, I don't know, probably because you're not attractive enough. The least attractive model. Oh, there they are. I'm being like this, the clearance section. But uh, jokes on that guy because I did end up working at Hollister. It was in the vacuum stock where they keep all the ugly people. But oh. hey, I, st I still got the job. Here's a clip of a former That's employee talking about the it's not a real fucking interview just to see if you're good looking or not. And just to show you oh, how wow. the CEO was, these are actual quotes that he said. A lot of people <laughs> don't belong in our clothes. That's why we hire good looking people in stores. Good looking people attract other good looking people, and we want to market to cool, good looking people. We don't market to anyone other than that. We only retail to the cool kids. Hello, hey, uh, where's your cool <laughs> We don't want fat people wearing it. We don't want this. We don't have. Oh my. Why? Uh, we do have cargo pants. But we told them we didn't. No, <laughs> that's no. To see people who aren't as hot as them wearing their clothing. Well, they have uh, stuff that's ripped. They refuse to donate their clothes. They'd rather burn on his clothing than donate it. They'll burn really? They, they can't even Less donate it? People wearing the clothes. Who the hell is Mark Jeffries to tell you what well, is and isn't attractive? No, she would like whip me in the door like all these shows people turn to look at me like I was a fucking freak, like I didn't belong there. Oh my gosh, so, like, that's so... Jeans and ripped skirts used to only go to large. They essentially just don't want overweight women wearing their clothes. This is the absolute largest size you can buy there. Whoa. I can't like this shit. It's just shocking. The kinds of things he said. Well, that explains why I never bought anything. No extra large for girls. From him. I never went in Hollywood. I just went there for the music. I just wanted to go in and go around. I wouldn't have a crush on everyone because everyone was attractive. There was always some mm -hmm. sort of boyfriend drama. like Everyone like had low-key drama. Who was I sleeping, bet it who, is. Who was sleeping with who. We're working there. Crazy stuff happens like all the time. People would party together. People would hang out with each other. The managers are like 21. People would like, do you like <laughs> drugs, have alcohol, drugs. Drugs? Or where or when. Models sleeping with managers. Half of the line. All of them 
shots and people dancing on tabletops. Oh, crazy, crazy stuff. So it's basically it was, just a club, huh? insane, basically. Just it to you. Anyway, let me get into the tea about what it was actually like working there. So. It was awful. I'm not gonna lie. I hated it. I only worked there because I wanted the discount, and I only worked there because I wanted to belong. But then, of course, you had the CEO saying, "He wanted the discount." It's all for equality. I think what we represent sexually is healthy. It's playful. It's not gay. It's not straight. It's not black. It's not white. It's not about labels. But in 2003, but it there is. was a lawsuit against Abercrombie, where it was being claimed that any Asian American, Whoa. African American, and Latino individual were hired at Abercrombie or relegated to work in the back of the stock rooms. What? They seen by the customers. Also, add I was the only African American black girl working there. So, you know, when you walked into that store, you just saw me, but not really. And I'll tell you why. I worked in the back. Wow. I was the cashier. They didn't think they thought I was stupid, man. So it just so happens that my station was I see all why they the way now. in the back of the store. <laughs> like, I rarely came in contact with customers. In you know, my position, this shit was like I was in the back doing stocking. There was another That's crazy. girl who was white that started the job. And she was working in front of the store before I was. Mind you, I had about six months under my belt already. Mind you, I'm the only one that was working for that long. In the wow. Bank. So it, once everybody left, I was going to be in there by myself. No, oh, it is great being greeted by everyone. Behind the scenes. So this guy literally created this. Yeah, I see why. I see why he retired. Movies that was filled with music that's super, super loud. And I love the music. I was like, I want to dance all day long. Models walking around in the clothes pretending to be your friend so you'll buy more. The only pros were mm -hmm. cute girls were working there. And it's all white people and no fat people. That's, that's so, there was some disrespectful ass people. So much discrimination. Thing. I wanted to fight, but I didn't think because I'm a classy ass bitch. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> On site! Like, so, I think mean, people are rude. I don't oh, no. know. No. No. I feel like that. I feel like I'm getting disrespected. I'm going to speak up. Right. Um, they were even on some like, mm, the black girls here. Like, you know, they oh, were just really? not. The hostel was just one of the best times of my life. I had a party, so I ain't stepped my ass up in the hostel again. Fuck yeah. I was just like, <laughs> treated like trash. <laughs> like, they did not care. It was pretty cool. And, and, she and she's like, it's like, fine. But like, everyone else is like, like, no. But I'm not pretty, bitch. I cried. I called my sister. And stuff. So I just kept getting disrespected. Oh, yeah, just in case you're thinking, well, maybe the lawsuit got thrown out. No, it didn't. It was actually settled, and they ended up paying $40 million to make you go away. Huh. Yeah, is that how? Mm -hmm. But see, that's how a lot of things go. Problem. They always settle yeah, and the pay out the people that are mad. Like, years. here's some money. Go away. As long as I won't do it again. I love my And then that fixes everything, right? Like, it doesn't always fix everything. Like, like, why wouldn't they say that everything? Because they're like, okay, listen, like, yes, people probably are gonna find out they're only being recorded. We have all mm -hmm. the footage, we have everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm the Apple keynote being like, are you found our teeth? They've made us so dependent on these that it doesn't even matter. Yeah, you're, you're like, what else am I gonna use? Because, like, we can't live without it. Why can't? <laughs> <laughs> Back facing cameras filming my POV, front facing cameras filming everything I do, my microphone okay. filming everything that it hears. It's literally a 360 of my whole of body. Everything. Body. Let's break it down and have a really interesting question. What are they after? What is their main thing? What are they trying to get? Advertising. You have to say what you said to me earlier. Can you? Yeah. Actually, wait, let's act it out. Like that sweater. Oh, okay, I'll be Apple. Well, no, yeah, you're you know. yeah. Oh, just me? Andrew? Andrew? Oh, I see. Okay. He's like, I'm just Okay, I'm just me. Yes, you're just you, and Andrew is from an unknown Should place. You, uh, I'm really gonna act it out. Yeah. Well, when your channel turns into an improv channel. Don't worry. That's on here, right there. Oh, look how we did the setting. Right. Yep, yeah, Garrett wants to recognize you from the videos. Uh, it's gonna be pretty straightforward with you as a memory card. We got uh, some stuff that you might wanna see. He can give a garage door opener. Okay. And, uh, it's gonna be. Uh, $50,000 if you want us to keep it somewhat for everybody else. Oh, That's what? a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I would just tweet about that and be pretty upset. Well, if you tweeted about it, then we would at least follow it. goes you back. said about your best friend that you said that you never said anything bad about. Oh my god, or pictures of me shirtless. I will pay right away. Oh my <laughs> lord. I would like give them my PayPal like account. <laughs> that, yeah, oh, oh. 
<laughs> look at look at look at them being so serious. What? It's like a wrap your skit. Oh my god. I got an A on my math test. Good job, Brad. I got an A plus. Better job, Bryce. <laughs> oh, I guess that was Brent. <laughs> I guess that was. You never before did they got you. Oh, that's where you edit, that's where you cut, and everyone's freaking out. Think about it. What is the apple from? The Adam and Eve. And they're gone. What happened when Eve took a bite out of it? Knowledge. Knowledge. This is our, oh my god, this is great, but she got in trouble. Yes, she did. And what is the apple? Oh, no. Oh, an apple with a bite. Oh! oh. Are freaking me out. They want knowledge, oh. I guess. Knowledge? Okay, go yes. right now. Okay, 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 yes, I did. Okay, okay so. The apple mm -hmm. from Adam and Eve. Yeah. She bit that apple because right. the apple contained knowledge. Right. So it's like we're taking a piece of the apple. It's like a little bit of the knowledge, but they have everything. You get what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. Like they want, like they like, like how he said with the cameras, like they see everything, yeah, yeah. and then they hear everything that you're saying, and then when you're mm. in there searching on Google, they see what you're searching up, and so they know what ads to put on whenever you're scrolling on Instagram well, that's, that, that, well, that's, and everything oh, like yeah, that. Because yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you'll you'll say, because I talk about couches, because you know I'm trying to get furniture for this place, so I'll be like, oh, I need to get a new couch, a new table, and here I go on Instagram, I see a thing from Wayfair, like, hey. We got this on sale and everything. I'm like, I know y'all listening. I, I just saw, that. yeah. I, I was starting thinking think about getting a new car, and then all of a sudden I see an ad for the car that I, uh, a car, and yeah. I'm like, so like you know. But they already said that they be. That they is. already said, but they already tell you that hey, we're listening. And then not only do they want to know everything, they want us to use everything on their phone, like like everything that we need mm -hmm. probably is like they want to make an app for it, like My like God. oh like your, your app for your heart rate to monitor your heart. And everything like that, yeah. like your your paycheck, oh, your card, cool. your your credit cards and stuff, Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't pay for anything without your phone. Right. You got like your passwords are in your phone mm -hmm. and everything, like your face, like unlock your phone with your face, like it's a lot. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I don't know. It's hey man. It's I, a whole bunch. I, I still need know, that yeah. phone though. I that's, still need that's it, right? I, thing. Like it's it's true because I need it. I need it. Yeah. I, do I don't need think it. I come, I, I don't think I could go with an Android. I don't think I can. Somebody send us an Android. We're bougie, I don't so think send, I can. Us, no. send us the Galaxy S10, Samsung. Stop playing games. I think I can do my, my dad and my brother both have an Android, and I've seen it, and I've tried to navigate it, and it's not as simple. We got it. Like I have never, ever, ever, ever had an Android. Yeah, no, I, I saw never, my dad try to no, no, I tried to I'm see him you. go to like look for something. It literally took him like through no, five pages. Jasmine, when I say I, ne I have never touched an Android. Like oh, well, ever. you're truly bougie. I did, right, I, at least I touched I, it. <laughs> It went, from, it went from it went from slide up to iPhone four. <laughs> oh well, lucky you. <laughs> no, I had to beg for that though. It was from it was no phone. You had a slide it was up. no phone. It was flip phone, and it was slide up. I had no phone. Then I went to track phone. It was not even a right. Real me phone. too. I did too. I went you to had a phone. slide up. No, I had no. I said flip phone. Okay. Okay, no it phone, flipped. Track Mine phone, didn't. flip phone, Mine didn't even slide flip. up, and then iPhone four. My phone was literally this big. That's yeah, how iPhone big four my was phone the best was. thing I ever. Then I went from that. To a, a flip phone when everybody else had razors, I had this little uh, was those, tiny those little and, or, or the T-Mobile when you slide it up, black and white or the phone. Boost Mobile where you where you at? I uh, have none. Oh of man. Anyway, let's dive on. to the theories involving the Wolsey and okay. Oh, and no. Empire disasters. None of these theories are meant to minimize the pain and loss that so many felt from these events. He has to put this disclaimer Once because again, just, it affected a lot of people. They're just theories. Now, as soon as the fire started, people were blowing up Twitter with conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy people were getting so suspicious that they were getting fired. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Now, if you look at some of these pictures, it does look like there is lasers coming from the sky and striking. And that's what I said. Now, the theory is that they're coming from outer space. So the theory is that they're coming from military Plane. aircrafts. Mm -hmm. And it's very specific to where the lasers are hitting. It moves, by definition, at the speed of light. Mm. It's more precise than a bullet. It really is a point and shoot. Um, we see it, focus on it, and... Wow. We can negate that person. You wow. just have to emphasize, you know, if, if you snap your fingers and, and, and the, the fire can blow up that quickly, it's it's almost instantaneous. So that way people wouldn't notice. Certain mm -hmm. locations on fire. Alright, this is not going to be pretty. You could say the pictures are photoshopped, mm. they're just fire tornadoes. But then this video started to spread. I'm going to try to start, stop it right at the very beginning of the see. fire. This is a video of a man who was watching the fire movement on a fire map. So okay. looks pretty, uh, I don't know, incriminating if you ask me. Now there's a moment mm. where he saw something that looked strange. It's about ready to start. Alright, see that? And when he slowed it down, he realized what it could be. Oh? See if you noticed what I noticed pretty much right away. Okay, right here. You see that line, folks? Those are yeah. All, uh, energy flashes. Oh. And, like it's going in a straight line and hitting what something. Or, uh, or what it was. There's our strike. And then the fire starts. Wow. So, another reason a lot of people think that direct energy weapons might have started some of these fires is because of the act. Have you seen the video footage of mm -hmm. the destruction of these fires? We have we look at overhead footage of the neighborhoods that were affected by the fire. Some were hit and some were not. houses are all burned to the ground, but then there's trees and mailbox surrounding them. That's How are they not burned? Can you see what I'm seeing right here? All the structures are burned down with the trees are still, still up. Standing up? How did the and fire those are flammable. weasel its way into these nooks and crannies? This is unbelievable. Mm. I believe the directed energy weapons are being used. What, what other options could there be besides a, a high torch directed energy weapon? Give me a freaking break. This is a forest wow. fire. This was a forest fire? With no. Wow, a that's kind of creepy. There's none that I could think of. They are out to take our lives of us and our children. Can you say directed energy weapon? The only way you can do that is to super hit the inside, which you can do with a directed energy weapon. Also, the fact that there's neighborhoods where there's one house that's burned and then like the one that they went to three houses in a row that are burned and then one right next to it that's totally that's okay another house completely destroyed and behind it a home completely fine untouched. what's going through my mind is my neighbors have all lost their homes but mine it seems like mm. the fire mm -hmm. is selective it's incredibly effective at what it does um we see it uh, one house is burnt down focus on wow the and then next look that's two houses burnt down in between two fine houses this is startling evidence of a directed energy attack mm -hmm. so this house survived starbucks survived oh of course they did they gotta make money this place got trashed right next one they survived it's just weird how this and you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the ones that burned down, the businesses that burned down, probably like family owned businesses. They burned those down. Mm -hmm. But the franchise, they leave them alone. You actually can't see them. You just see this damage suddenly starting to. Really, these are invisible? Mm -hmm. Wow. They said it's speed of light, so it's not like we can see it. There's theories that some of the fires might have started from inside the house. Firefighters had already been there. They thought they had put out the flames there, but a massive flames broke out inside of the condo complex and spread from one to the other. It's hard to tell from the outside. Now, if you look at the news footage, you'll notice that some houses are burning from within, and the outside is always the last to burn. Now, it could be because the roof caught on fire first and fell inside, but it also could be because of Appliances inside the house might have been overpowered on purpose. Think oh. What's one of the items that's in every house that we all know is super dangerous? Hmm. We still have it. Oven. Oven. Microwave? That's right. Microwave. Oh, mm. I'm saying every appliance. <laughs> An electricity company to purposely overpower any house they want. Then it starts from the power sure plant? Microwave Didn't they say that as they were Microwave is right into the stove, which is which would explode. So what you end up with is something like an explosion. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna back up just a little bit when we hear that popping noise. Which then caused the entire kitchen to catch fire, making the house burn from the inside out. Wow. Leaving all the trees and grass outside. Fine. How did a 
Phoenix fire come in and leave the trees but charge the homes down to the ground. It's just like somebody turned on the gas. I was laughing at the dude that fell through. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Not the fire. Just that that right now. That's not fire. The people said that the path of the fire was identical to the blueprint of the high speed race. I read that too on Twitter. To this theory because it was pretty quickly debunked. I mean, if you put the maps on top of each other, they don't really line up, and it's not actually the fire. People were like creating the all these theories. That's a mm -hmm. There's still many other theories as to why the fire started, and one of them involves a very scary place called the Santa Susana Field Laboratory. So huh? this was a massive that sounds like something in Raccoon City. And it was used for testing uh -huh. rockets. In Area 4 of the lab is where they used to experiment on nuclear reactors. Well, in 1959, there was a partial nuclear meltdown, and the area to this day has still not been completely cleaned up. Some of the fuel oh, rods partially melted. The damage turned out to be very extensive. These practices were halted a long time ago, but as we know, contamination doesn't just go away. That means there's been dangerous nuclear Chemicals waste and all everything. over the area for the last 60 years. Damn! Jesus. Oh, yeah. I can Centuries. only imagine. Centuries. And then people are breathing in the air. The site has a lot of contamination. Well, the Santa Susana Field Lab is also famous for another reason. It's where the Woolsey fire started. There is mounting evidence that the fire oh. started at the Santa Susana Field Lab. It's an area that is still highly contaminated. So who started the fire? Or was it just the, the fire started the chemicals? inside that area at an intersection called Test Area Road. Huh. And then that's the name of the road. Atomic reactor meltdowns in the entire world. Not just nuclear, but different fuels, experiments for the space program. Now, why the fire started oh is my still gosh. clear. The theory is that the government purposely planted explosions in that test area so that they could release an abundance of nuclear chemicals into the air. Because why? 3,000 acres that encompasses that site, contaminated with those toxic materials that I just told you about, to which kill us is all? one of the worst in the world. That's where the California fire is partly now burning. Now, over the years, there's been reports that show living close to this nuclear meltdown site has already caused an increased risk in cancer and so many mm. other things to the people that have been living close to Oh, my goodness. Wow. Cancer clusters of various kinds of exotic cancers all around this site. 0.003% mm -hmm. of the nation is the average for childhood cancer. I can name... 10 children that I know personally who live within three to five miles of my house. Oh, my oh, so lord. Fire there and there's a huge I can't. cloud of smoke that is billowing that is probably filled with nuclear chemicals and it's traveling all across Southern California. And you can see all of that smoke and just carrying the smoke and just making us inhale it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wind is just pushing all of the smoke in all of the directions. When the fire incinerated all of the grass and the trees, that, that probably released a lot more contamination. What can be in the smoke, and it's presumably there, is radionuclides plus chemical toxins. It's putting all of us no, no longer just at risk. We have been harmed. Now, I started yeah. thinking out, too. I mean, everybody in my neighborhood was wearing masks. And it wasn't As just the senior seniors freaking out about it. It was everyone. Look at the end of those masks. We're literally just in the apocalypse right now. Even Kim Kardashian, who said, shocked and furious to learn smoke yeah. from the Woolsey Fire started at a former nuclear testing site, Santa Susana Field Lab, and it's potentially radioactive. Mm -mm. And the city officials and government was denying everything. They're saying there's nothing what? wrong with They checked it. Everything is okay. Now, Everything's not okay. I must think that people are just stupid. Oh, here actually well, isn't that bad and it's fine. Those were the government's tests. Why shouldn't we? Or they always say that. Well, well, why shouldn't no, we? You shouldn't. Why? You can't. Why? The other tests that were done. Why not? The opposite. I'm not saying so. Dr. Cohen did that even without a fire, in a windy day, especially with dry and wet dust, mm. the dust can, can travel for miles. Right now, more people will have died because of the after effects of 9 11 than died that day. Mm. There's another theory for why the war started, and it might have been to distract us from something even more suspicious and even more devastating. This is just... You see the air around right now? It looks like a uh, like a war zone, a little post-apocalyptic campfire. Uh, that's due to the campfire. The campfire started eight hours before the Woolsey fire, and it lasted 17 days. 
Cities. Mm. It's the most dangerous and most oh destructive wildfire in California history, and it's the fourth in the U.S. history. He's playing. Except on the news, we heard way more about the Woolsey Fire, which is crazy. Because just to put in perspective, the Woolsey Fire burned 1,600 buildings and three lives were lost. The campfire burned 18,793 oh buildings and 85 lives were lost. And nobody's and talking about that? Reports, um, simply don't do it justice. Phil I don't, I'm like lost here. Because it's, it's unrecognizable here. The entire town of Paradise was completely destroyed. And the videos mm. and images of the fire was straight out of until you actually look at the people that were affected oh and my left goodness. up there in paradise, you don't really see it as real. This is it. This is the hot look at that flame. Look at that. Oh, yeah. This is look real. Yeah, no. Paradise is gone. Paradise is lost. And it's very close to Chico. There's about 100,000 people in Chico. Out of Chico. Yeah, out of Chico. I don't know. But from what I heard, Paradise, California no longer exists. Oh my gosh. It was mm. awful. People trying to drive out of their neighborhoods while their cars are surrounded by humans. Mm. I mean, we had to drive. People. I can feel the heat Not in my bet. car as I'm driving. It's getting hot. You can't keep your windows rolled up. Do not breathe yes. that air. I can't either, but we're okay. Oh, hold on. Woo. People having to run out of I can only imagine. Because of all the smoke, they didn't know if they were running away from or toward. 15-year-old kids that didn't, didn't know where to go. Mm. Just started throwing people in the truck. It was crazy. Mm. And all I heard about when I turned on the news was the Woolsey fire. So I was that. While well, Ryan's people started talking about campfire on Twitter, a lot of pictures and videos were getting released of what Says they are going to say on the TV. People were also questioning how did this fire happen? Why did it spread so fast? Why were people evacuated? The town Before it So the yeah. end, about one in eight people told them they got a mask notification that day. How did this become such a huge disaster? This is population no control. I feel got it. No phone call. Yeah. You got no alert on your cell phone. No. Because a lot of people, they didn't even have time to get their stuff. And those that did, they had very limited, very limited time. All of those things combined mm. created a lot of conspiracies. And then right when people started tweeting about it, and seeing the laser thing, the direct energy weapons were going viral. Boom! The Woolsey fire. And the Woolsey fire isn't just any old fire. It's a fire that started right in a neighborhood where all the big celebrities live. You know how much the news loves celebrities. A lot of celebrities have also lost their homes as the fire rages To distract off. us from something that's even there. Wow. Have been their own and you know it's bad too because we only know what's going on from the media outlets. And so the media is choosing what they want us to know about. And something else could be happening. You don't even know about it. That is extremely scary. I've never seen anything like that. My fires also lost her home. So of course now the whole world you think they got fires in the hood in Carroll City, bitch? I no, no, no. Here's Rob Nick. This is put into the home of the real housewives of the real kill star. Hey, look, you're kind of scared. For animals, they just have to be hard. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Looks like, like, little pup don't even care, like, if anything happens. We're fine. We're in the beach. Look at him, Raven. He don't care. And all of the conspiracies and questions about it started to disappear because everyone wanted to know is Kim and Kanye's house okay? <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. And that's what paradise looks like. There was the opposite. Of this giraffe that mm -hmm. I guess everyone knows there, Stanley the giraffe in Malibu. It really stirred up. You know, there were celebrities tweeting about Stanley and. What about the giraffe? Who cares? Concerned. What can you tell us about Stanley? Who cares about the draft? We worried about a draft and any people all across the city well, losing their lives. And yesterday, well, the, the draft is safe. Instagram, you know? Come on now. Come on. Like, I understand. Actually, meet Stanley the draft because Kylie Jenner was there. So instead of talking about a fire that but killed a whole bunch of people. Made it or not. Now the final theory, and to me, y'all care about this crap, is that maybe the government didn't start these fires. Maybe some of these fires were started by homeowners themselves. 
Now, every year in California, mm. we're warned that the Santa Ana winds are dangerous and can cause the across our mountains. Mm. And of course, the big concern is even here are these winds. The winds are expected, as we've been reporting, to flare up big time tomorrow. And all it mm. takes is just one spark. And every year, pretty much at the same time, multiple fires break out. Oh my gosh. Every year, when it doesn't, it's like. Well, let's say I'm a homeowner who doesn't want to live in my house anymore, can't afford it, or just wants a change. And now okay. it's a time of year where my area is affected by fires. What could I do? Mm. I'm excited to burn this place down, man. It's going to be cool. So, there goes. Now I know the idea of somebody setting their house on fire sounds crazy. Yes. It's definitely something that's happened a lot. I think so they just set their own house? Let, let it burn! I don't understand why. Someone just said it for her intentionally. I just can't even comprehend that. People have been setting their houses on fire and collecting insurance money for years. I mean, I can go to jail for that. Sorry. That's right. insurance fraud. Is when you do that, you usually get caught because they right. do an investigation and they find out where the fire started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire happened. Say you got the police department, the fire department. And everybody's out there. gonna look you into have it. Fencing people fencing up your property. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> what, cooking? But we <laughs> lived in Southern California, and it's around that time where they say they had a winter up. And for now, mm. insurance companies are acting very quickly to help those in need in these wildfires. And there's already a huge fire warning within a 50-mile radius of your house. Until that comes back on and these winds die down, this neighborhood will remain under evacuation. Technically, wow. if your house did catch fire, it could have just been the winds or an ember. The embers could Oh, and they'd be like, oh, something blew to my house and now it caught on fire. It wasn't me. Oh, no, not again. It's okay, Betty. Your insurance covers fire. I don't think everybody in the neighborhood decided to do the same thing, though. That's oh, the thing. Goodness. Yeah, maybe a select few, though, maybe. Not everyone. All it takes yeah, is a few. So? All it takes is a few people to get the together. The purge of houses. All it does take a few. Mm -hmm. I thought how we had this montage of Harvey. Right. <laughs> Just I'm buying sure stuff. Somebody, I would definitely be thinking about reducing the number of customers I have in the state. Now, I talked to somebody who's very well-versed <laughs> in home insurance world, and they told me that this theory isn't that crazy. So I'm going exactly. to exactly what he said to me. It's definitely not on college, especially when you're in a neighborhood overpopulated with ducks. And with I said, ducks? Yes, ducks. When you see ducks, they're so serene. Yes, they're, they're so, so cute. Cold, and they look like they don't have a care in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, they got like no concerns. They're floating around look and at just that. trying to follow the crowd. But if you look just beneath the surface, their legs are moving fast. They're just trying to stay up with water. They're panicking. They can't pay the bills. They can't pay for their house. <laughs> <laughs> They spent all their money on Gucci. The IRS is going to come. They're so desperate. So what do they do? They cut wonderful web feet and propelled them along. And then he said, the first thing I thought when I saw the fire spreading to Calabasas, mm -hmm. the land of former rappers, corporate musicians, mm -hmm. ex-reality stars and actors who can't get cast anymore, they're stressed out, you know? They're looking for some kind of way to kind of accept. So I guess they're trying to say they're trying to kick so fast and stay afloat. Mm -hmm. Is that what that means? Fires destroyed homes in so many communities. Calabasas alone. That's most of the theories. Mm. Direct energy weapons, electric companies making our appliances explode. I'm still going with lasers. That's my thing. Still going with lasers. Half the government wanting to distract us from things we should be really focusing on, and of course the idea of insurance fraud. Now there's a lot mm -hmm. of theories and not a lot of answers, but one thing is for sure: this was devastating. And it was very real, and so many people need help. So I'm gonna be putting links down below. Oh, good. There's a bunch of ways that you mm -hmm. guys can help. Them we gotta do that. Them. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take yeah. a little copy of the links. You guys can find out why this happened. Wow. Mm. James went. Oh, just a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Apple promises to fix a major glitch that Face lets time. people eavesdrop on you. Customers mm -hmm. first noticed the glitch today. I didn't pick up the phone yet. How did that make any sense? Or that person picked up. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't really hear me. Yeah, then, yes we did. You heard it. Apple mm -hmm. says it will have a software update to fix the bug later this week. Until that happens, experts suggest you disable FaceTime. One, two, three. We don't even use it that no, Nobody calls me. <laughs> <laughs> So part two is going to be on February 6th. Six. Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, wait, there's a preview. 
This is like a movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your turn. Is there anything you notice about it that seems off? Wait, so we're walking now with a camera. Oh. And she goes, are you filming? Oh. What is, there's something going on. She asked her something. I said, no. Oh. She said, no, no, it's, you know, it's just crazy back there. I'm like, what is wrong? Yeah, oh, are they so talking about that? Well, she has to go. Know, it's your turn. It is. that he's that good. I'm scared about talking about this on my channel. Who's coming? I think it's a good Who is coming? I feel like I'm allowed to say all this. I'll send it to my lawyer. It's <laughs> yeah. like, that's just the facts. Right. No, wait, no, it's not. It's just the you know what this whole series is reminding me of? That little scene right there at the end? Mm -hmm. It's reminding me of Nightcrawler. Oh, Nightcrawler was in that movie. Not 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 movie. the not the X-Men member. I'm talking about the movie. Uh yeah, it was uh, what's his name? He's playing Mysterio. Mm -hmm. I can't remember his name. Yeah. Right I don't uh I don't, um, I don't remember his name, but you know um, who I'm talking about. It reminds me of that. You wanna look it up? I'm definitely gonna look it up. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. Um you have to say Nightcrawler movie because they're gonna be show you Nightcrawler. Right, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so it's like him, and he basically he was he was following um like stories like, stories, like at night, say somebody got into a car crash or mm -hmm. something like that, and he was there with his camera, like was trying and, to get all the footage. And it is a very interesting world that is. It's a world That's that a you would thing. never. It's a real thing because we saw a documentary yeah. about people. What are they called? Nightcrawlers, that's what they call it. No, no, no. The documentary that we looked at. Oh, I forgot. It was on Netflix. Else. It was on Netflix, yeah. and they basically would like track gunshots, track down, like accidents, shootings, fires, fires all that stuff. And, and they would actually like sell it to the. And that's how the get paid. news people get their footage Sunny and everything. Footage, yeah. It's not from their station, from mm -hmm. people that are freelancing doing this. Yep. So. Some stories, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, so... The fire thing is really scary to me because there's so many theories and everything. Yeah. I, I, I still feel like it's lasers. I don't know. It's, it's I still a, it's do. Because we, we were thinking about that the other day. Mm -hmm. And we was like, we ain't never, they ain't never really say how the fire started. It's a lot of... Yeah, I know. Because the they said somebody, because then we heard rumors that somebody that was an arson. Yeah. And they started a fire, but I'm like... You know, like, like I'm pretty sure they gave that reason to the people that was living in Cali at that time. Or still now, like giving them that reason that we heard mm -hmm. the power plant. But like we're all the way over here in Maryland. We're all we are. So all, we are. all we know is that it was just a big fire mm -hmm. that affected a whole bunch of people. But then I started seeing those things, the lines and the lasers, and it was making sense to me because I'm like, maybe they're using the lasers as a test. Yeah. And that's probably why, like, the trees and everything yeah. were not incinerated. And I'm thinking, if it's a test for something for the government, it might be for, like, if they're trying to take out a target to say it's, like, a terrorist or mm -hmm. whoever and somewhere else, and then they're hiding out somewhere, they just take out that whole entire building and not have to take out anything else surrounding them so they don't hurt any civilians that are just innocent. And they just take oh. out that one target. United like, States, I want to get this place. We spend like, the United it. States spends all a lot on of weapons. money on defense. I'm pretty sure they got a silver surfer down there somewhere. Shoot. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that they are sure they got still to this day working on yeah. Super Captain America. They got a they got a Wolverine down there somewhere. They somewhere. Got somebody if they got dudes, if they got if you think that, yeah, if you think they got dudes in cry, cryo cryo chambers. And what do you think they working on? Right I didn't now? know they actually had cryo chambers like for people, like for humans. Like right. I know that they would like freeze like little animals and stuff right. to, like test because they always do that with, like mice. Yeah. But I didn't think they would do that with like humans like right now. Mm -hmm. And that's what's, probably an old clip. What's the thing? Yeah. So, what's the thing about heads? Why, yeah. Why, I'm like. Why preserve And that's the thing the that head? got me scared too because I'm like, why preserve just the head? And why? If you know that you can't survive with it cut off, except if you have a plan. To, to put that put that head on something else like you know like, you know like you know like, like in Futurama where they had like all yeah. those like celebrity heads like just there in the little tooth in the little yeah. the little can thing yeah. the cylinders and like they're they're just there talking they still have the consciousness and everything yeah. what if they have that and they could just put our consciousness inside of like a robot or something. I was thinking about that too. Put our head on top of it. Yeah, I was thinking about forever. like, yeah. I'm it's like, like wake me up when like you got Detroit the right robot. Like Detroit become human. Yeah. But like they take your consciousness 
and download it into a robot that looks right. just like you. They just connect the little nerve endings and stuff right. to move your head, and then they just wake you up and you inside this new body and this everything. This new robot body, this new but they look body. It looks exactly like you do. Yeah. And, uh, and you don't you don't die. You don't die. You don't age. You, you don't, don't do age. Nothing. You're just a robot. You're just there. I don't know. That sounds like hell to me. I wouldn't want that. Take me out. It's my time to go. It's my time to go. I don't right. want to live on forever. I do not. I don't no. want immortality. No. This is, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't think so. Woo, it's, it's just, just my much. time. It's, my it's time. just too much. I just, I it's too much. I don't know. My brain hurts from all the information and the crazy theories. Anyway, though, mm -hmm. uh, Shane did an amazing job. In a few yeah. days, we're gonna be reacting to the next part of Shane's conspiracy theories, which Have some more snacks. Super juicy, okay? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll comment below. Don't forget to like and share. Yeah.